my friends, Ellen here. Hope you're having a wonderful day and welcome to all my new and returning subscribers to on Today's recipe, I'm gonna show you how to make some homemade hot cross buns. They're gonna be so fluffy, tender, delicious. And if you're a fan of hot cross buns, you're gonna enjoy this recipe. All right, you ready? Let's go bake some hot cross buns magic in my southern kitchen. All right, in my bowl, I have three and a third cups of bread flour. And we're going to add in one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice and one half teaspoons of salt. Going to whisk all that together. And we're going to set these aside. All right, my friends, in this bowl, I have half of the flour mixture. And we're going to add in four tablespoons of unsalted butter cut into cubes. And using my pastry cutter, or you can use a fork, we're just going to cut the butter in until it reaches coarse crumbs. All right, my friends, I cut all the butter in nice and crumbly. And make sure your butter is nice and cold. All right, that is great. Next, we're going to stir in a half a cup of raisins. And then we're going to set this aside. All right, my friends, in my stand mixture with the palate attachment, we're going to add in a half a cup of white sugar. And we're going to add in one cup of hot evaporated milk. And we're going to put this on stir. And we're going to let it stir until the sugar dissolves and we're going to let it cool to lukewarm. All right, my friends, the milk and sugar mixture has cooled to look warm and I switch from the pellet attachment to the dough hook. So now we're gonna set this on medium. And we're gonna add in our yeast mixture. I have one packet of active dry yeast with a fourth of a cup of warm water and a fourth of a teaspoon of white sugar. And next we're gonna add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of lemon extract, one teaspoon of orange extract, and one teaspoon of lime extract. Stir all that in. And next we're going to add in the flour, butter, and raisin mixture that we made earlier. Stir that in until it's nice and well combined. And next we're going to add in two jumbo eggs plus one egg yolk. And the rest of the flour mixture. And mix all together until it reaches a nice soft sticky dough. All right, my friends, this is what our dough looks like. Nice and sticky. All right, that looks great. I put my dough in the grease bowl. So now we're going to cover it and we're going to let it sit in a warm place for two hours on to a doubling size. All right, I'll see y'all back here in a minute. All right, my friends, this is what our dough looks like after two hours. So now we're going to punch a hole in the middle to release some of the air. All right, my friends, I'm through kneading up my dough, so now it's time to turn them into rolls. I'm gonna take a little of the dough, I'm gonna take my fingers and we're gonna poke it like this, and we're gonna put it in my greased nine times 13 inch baking dish. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish making the rest of my rolls and I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, I got all my buns together. I made 12 buns and I can smell the pumpkin pie spice and look at those raisins, it smells great. All right, so now we're gonna let them rise again. We're gonna cover them and we're gonna let them rise for another hour. All right, my friends, these will our buns look like after one hour, nice and big and puffy. So now we're ready to put these babies in the oven. We're gonna put it in the preheated 400 degree oven and we're gonna let them bake for about 20 to 25 minutes. All right, I'll see y'all back here in a minute. My friends, it smells amazing up in this kitchen. Look at my beautiful hot cross buns, nice and golden brown. Oh, they look so delightful. So now all we do is let our hot cross buns cool completely. And while those are cooling, we can go ahead and get started on our icing. All right, my friends, to make our glaze, I have two cups of sifted powdered sugar. And we're gonna add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract and two tablespoons of half and half, which is half milk, half cream. Gonna stir all this together until it's nice and well combined. 
All right, my friends, this is what our glaze looked like. Nice and smooth. All right, that looks awesome. All right, my friends, there you have it. Homemade hot cross buns. Don't they look good? Oh, my mouth's watering. All right, I'm about to fix me up a plate and then I'll give the taste. All right, here we go. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Mmm. Mm, look at that. See how nice and fluffy these are? Oh, I can taste the spices. And that glaze is amazing. These hot cross buns are the bomb.com. This deserves another bite. I love the raisins in it. Hot cross buns, delicious. Well, I want to thank you so much for watching and joining me in the kitchen today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And click on the bell so that way you'll be notified when my new videos come out. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Let's eat.